being a part of a school sport is so important. It teaches kids so much. It shows them responsibility, commitment, pride in their school, and those are all qualities that they can take on in a job. I've been married for 30 years to Dan Offit, and I have two wonderful daughters, Elizabeth and Corey. Both are engineers, and I think because I worked them so hard, they were able to take that work on. My youngest daughter played for the University of Wyoming. They both played volleyball for me, and I love to golf and be around people and family. I wanted to be an assistant coach, and um, the AD at the time, Jeff Cogburn, said they asked if I would take over the position, and it was hard because I felt bad for him, but. I thought it was good for the kids. And I told him on that day, okay, I'll coach a year. After a year, if you want to get rid of me, that's fine. We need to do what's best for the program. He kept saying, okay, I want you again. I want you again. So 20 years later. There are so many things that I've learned from my athletes and I can be here all day long telling you about it all, but I don't have that much time. <laughs> There's just so many other lessons and things that I learned from them. I was able to teach them. They loved the sport. I wanted them to learn how to love it, and it just made it exciting and fun. We got the kids to buy into our program, and our first championship, our senior girls came, and they had a book put together for all the kids and said, these are the things that we're gonna do in our senior year. And they had in their community service events, fundraising events, what they expected out of the underclassmen, and they bought into it. Everybody bought into it, the parents, the kids, um, the school, and that was our first championship. And, you know, once they buy into a program and buy into what you're trying to, to teach them and coach them, um, it's smooth. <laughs> 2012 state championship was probably my favorite team because my youngest daughter played on that championship team. And that season they went 29-0 and 0 was our win-loss record, so zero losses. And that summer we played in a UNC tournament and we beat 4A and 5A schools in the tournament. It was so fun. I kicked two kids out of my practice ever in my entire 20 years and they are both my daughters. <laughs> you know, I just had higher expectations for them and probably not very fair to them, but I didn't want the other kids to think that I ever favored them more than anybody else, that I had the same expectations for them, if not more for everybody else. I also had a lot of cousins I coached too. Some never got off the bench, so, and that was hard. <laughs> they still don't talk to me. <laughs> the secret success of coaching is giving every kid an opportunity to show what they can do, no matter how tall, how short. We won state championship with some of the shortest kids ever. I, I think our average was like 5'4". So I think it's important to give kids an opportunity. We might not be able to get up and block, but we are gonna not let that ball hit the floor playing some serious defense. And our team was notorious for their defense. Our community has a lot of upper class families and lower economic kids and I had a kid one day come into practice and she was struggling and I asked her what was wrong, this isn't like you, your head's not in this. I pulled her aside and she, I asked her, are you hungry, did you eat breakfast? Because it was a morning practice and she told me she hadn't eaten since Thursday night. And. Um, started crying and I'm like, what's going on? Her dad had left and um, her and her brother, her brother was our manager at the time, were just trying to make it on their own in a little house. So, you know, we took care of them and 
made sure they were fed, um, but it made me be aware of the kids and not just focus on volleyball, but be aware of what what they're going through. You know, are they? How are they looking when they come in? How are they playing and practicing? It's a great honor to be nominated for this award. None of this would have been possible without the athletes, the assistant coaches I've had. They are great coaches, um, great athletic directors, and the community buying into our program.